everyone. This is Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Yeah, that's where I'm from. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, this today is going to be a very difficult video to make because I really don't have anything that I want to tell you, and I don't want to waste your time. But I can show you a few things. We took care of some hot peppers. We took them off their vines, and we did build a trellis. <laughs> I wanted to call it an arch because it's shaped like an arch but it's a trellis and it's for my um, snake gourds when they germinate I've got them trying to germinate them right now and my um, bottle gourd is going to go on that trellis too and maybe a few other things we put a few things in the garden it was only seeds so you can't see anything I haven't gotten my plants yet because the weather still is kind of iffy and I don't want to put them in until um, I know the weather is good. And I don't start my plants from seeds. Unfortunately, I don't do that. I do buy my pepper plants. I did plant some seeds for sweet peppers, but I will still buy pepper plants. I, I prefer to buy them. I go to our local um, nursery up here that they started out with like just a little tiny shed of a stand, and now they've got a massive greenhouses that you would not believe and everybody goes there for their flowers and it's it's just it's like a mile away from me and so I'm going to go there or a couple miles it used to be a mile away when I lived at home or two miles from my home maybe three miles now I don't know it's a little ways away but I go there to get my plants and support the local people that are trying to make a living on their plants so that's today's video so we'll go just take a walk and I'll show you what I got to show you and then I'll come back okay all right I guess we can show you what I'm doing and what we're doing we're taking I'll show you his he's taking the the peppers that we had dried last year and we're gonna dry them up a little more and grind them up that's what we're doing this and there's that's my bowl I don't have as much but I've got a bigger bowl so it looks like less and I can't remember if I showed you the peppers or not, but these are the peppers after they're taken off of the vines. Okay, that is that. Okay, this is the trellis that we put up today. This is where my, my gourds are going to go. I, my husband put this up. It's a, it's a cow panel that we've put up and it's up against the compost power pile and my one little my one little itty bitty gourd is right there I put it next to the gold cup so I could find it okay now we'll go see we'll go see the bluebirds for the last time okay remember we have to knock nobody's coming out and you come on the other side because they could fly out at you. Oh, and then we open the door. Oh, look at there they are. Oof. They are getting so big. The mama bird doesn't like it that I'm here. So I'm going to close up the box. Oh, she's really zipping. Okay. Okay. We've been building. Um, actually, Jim has been building, not me building the um, carpenter, bee. carpenter bee, that's right. I couldn't think of the darn bee. Carpenter bee nests so that traps. our catchers, what are they? Traps. traps. Carpenter bee traps. So I, that's part of it up there. I don't know. It's, it's going to have the, boxes, but you got the label on that one. I don't like that one. It's right there. And they do catch the, the bees. The bees get caught in it. Oh, it's got a bee in there. It's already caught a bee. Oh my goodness. They get in the trap and they can't find their way out. We've got a lot of wood on our barn and they like to drill holes. Okay, we took a look at the bluebirds. We took a look at the trellis. We took a look at the peppers, at the bee trap that Jim is making he's made quite a few and he has some at my daughter's house and they do, the carpenter bees actually go in 
and get caught and um, stop drilling holes in our wood. Whenever we find a hole, we have to fill the hole because the carpenter bees, they will, they will damage your wood. And that's what we don't want them to do. So he builds these traps, and the traps actually work. So I hope you had a great day. It's um, getting cold out there now, so I'm going to go put my sweater back on because I'm getting chilly again. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow, so have a great evening. We'll talk to you then. Bye.